Hey everyone, Will Blevins here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 12 gauge shotgun shell dummy round. I use these dummy rounds instead of live rounds to practice reloading my shotgun for three gun competitions. Uh, obviously using a dummy round is a lot safer than using a live round. Uh, and if you practice reloading live rounds, you can wear uh, a hole out here in the shell. And then you'll have a bunch of BBs and powder all over the place. So uh, instead of buying these online, I opted to make my own. It's pretty simple uh, and pretty quick, and I like doing things on my own. So here's what the uh, final product will look like. You can see the prime has been punched. I've got some paper and some BBs inside there, and then I capped it off with uh, with some hot glue. And it uh, it about it weighs about the same as uh, as a as a live round. So uh, what you need is everything you see here: hot glue gun, scissors a punch or something to pack the paper down with, a hammer, a Phillips screwdriver, BBs, and a bunch of uh, cut up newspaper clippings. So we'll get to those in a second. So first things first, uh, you'll, have, you'll take your empty shell and uh, you need to cut it down to be the same size as a shell that hasn't been shot. So you can see there that uh, when the wad goes out, obviously the end of the shell explodes so take this kind of measure it out take your scissors and just snip that end off so now it's about the same size as a, as a shell that has not been shot next you need to punch the primer punch the primer out um, you don't have to punch the primer out, uh, but I did just to, just so that I would know it was a dummy round. Obviously, this doesn't look like a real round, but uh, you know maybe one time I'm not using them or something. Somebody confuses them. So uh, what I did is I took a screwdriver and placed it on the primer, put it on the edge of a table. I did this. I did the rest rest of them on my workbench outside. Take your hammer hit the end of the screwdriver until the primer comes out. You can see there, it's being pushed out. Hit it again. It shot out. Now we're good. You set the hammer aside because you won't need it anymore. Next step, take the hot glue gun and fill that hole so your BBs don't fall out. There it is. I've already got some prepped here for this video. So next, you'll uh, you'll take a wad of this paper, shove it into the shotgun shell. Use this paper uh, in the bottom, so you don't end up using a thousand BBs per shell, uh, and also it it helps even out the weight. Uh, because if you put a lot of BBs in there, it won't weigh the same as a as a normal shell. So you pack pack that paper down in there. Uh, usually do like a quarter a quarter of the shell filled with paper. So it's about a quarter full. Next, take some BBs. Fill them up. Uh, at this point, you can either be really sophisticated and, and weigh a live round versus your dummy round. Uh, I don't need to be that precise, so I just kind of did the hand weight item. This one's a little heavy. So now, you see I've got the paper, the BBs. Next step is to fill it with the hot glue.
give it, tap it on the table a couple times, get the BBs to settle, move the hot glue around so that it gets in the middle. I take a stray piece of stray piece of cardboard, kind of even it out on the top, make sure there's no excess, and then set it aside and go to the next one. So you can see that I've been working tonight. I've got a few of them, a few of them to go, and uh, I'll be using these to practice from now on. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments. Thanks.